you want to hit 1000 subscribers in 10 videos that's how i did it on my channel and it was easy because i follow what i call the wasd method so what's wasd the gamer keyboard but besides that it's a very powerful new method that can get you to your youtube goals and it's not even difficult let me teach you the first part of wasd is the winning mindset you're born already i know nobody wants to hear me ramble about mindsets but push through this because this is gonna set you up for success and i'm gonna make it quick the only thing you need to do is keep your ego outside of your channel and you will blow up numbers will be going crazy understand that the algorithm only wants to make the viewer happy so if you cooperate you will succeed and maybe that piece of content you really want to make is not what will make the viewer happy so don't do it there's nothing wrong with having a channel to express your art but if you want to see some views you will need to tailor your art to what the viewer wants to see now before i tell you the second part of the method let me help you out a little bit would you like to go to a free place with like 400 500 youtubers all helping each other blow up i'm even in there commenting a lot and there's even a free course and there's literally no cost to it it's completely free if yes please just go join our school community and take advantage of it is for your benefit bro the first link in the description and the second part of wasd is the attractive thumbnail do you know how thumbnails are made because it's not the way you do it all thumbnails that win on youtube have a shared characteristic and it's that they intrigue the viewer they don't have to be pretty they just need to open a curiosity loop and i'm gonna show you exactly how to do that your thumbnail needs to make the viewer think these exact words i wonder what's this about what's he gonna say not oh this is so pretty nobody cares if your thumbnail looks like mona lisa bro when you're making a thumbnail try to put these exact words in the viewer's mind if you do that correctly you should be good well not really because you need to practice and get better at it but you will be set up for success however before you can have a good thumbnail you need a good idea which brings me to the next step of this method and that is a stolen idea yes you heard me right you need to steal we encourage robbery here but only in a moral way so what is the moral way to steal i'm gonna tell you there's two techniques of stealing good video ideas morally number one find a video inside your own niche so if you're a self-improvement youtuber for example maybe look at hamza or any video that went viral and then just copy the exact title of that video but don't don't watch the video if you watch it then you're copying the content you don't want to steal that part you just want to steal the title and the idea comes within the title don't steal the thumbnail either make your own thumbnail i already told you how to do that now if you want to be a bit more advanced in stealing there's a technique number two that is probably going to get you even better results find a video that's not in your niche again if you're a self-improvement youtuber don't look into that niche but look into i don't know game development take a video that it will dare take the title and remodel it so that it fits your niche and your channel here's an example that i recently used on my channel so get creative with this and start producing some banger ideas for your channel now the idea the thumbnail and the winning mindset are great but they won't work if you don't put them together with a disruptive opening the first line in your video needs to change the trajectory of the viewer's thoughts put into simple words say something weird open your video with something that will make them think about you and your message and make them stop thinking about whatever random idea they had in their mind a minute ago you want their attention don't let it be anyone else's this can be a statement a question something that will catch their attention because as long as their attention is caught they won't click away so don't start the video with what's up guys this video shut up they will click away start it by saying something like why do you think you're on self-improvement you're not even happy now that's just an example of the top of my head but look it's good if if you did that correctly they now watch your entire intro all that is left is to make them watch the rest of the video too and you can learn that in this video over here bye